In this guide, I want to talk about enabling swap space on a Ubuntu based web server. Uh, what swap space is, is basically backup. If your system runs out of RAM, it could use a portion of your hard drive as a backup area uh, to use as working memory. Uh, this is really useful on budget web servers. I have a use case down here where I find swap space comes in handy. Um, I will often teach courses where I have students set up uh, cheap DigitalOcean servers, and I'll actually show you the particular server they're using. It's six bucks a month, and you can see it has a gigabyte of RAM. And generally for what we're doing, that's perfectly sufficient. These are not high traffic or high demand sites. However, uh, we are doing something called remote development with VS Code, where we're actually tapping into the server using a VS Code plugin. We're doing our development live on that server. And generally speaking, this goes smoothly on these cheaper servers, but occasionally the remote development process will cause a memory spike. And previously what would happen is the server would essentially lock up and you'd have to go in and restart it to get it working again. But once we set up swap on these cheap uh, servers, we no longer ran into that issue because in those edge cases where it was maxing out on uh, memory, it had, had a fail safe it could rely upon. It could rely upon that swap space on the hard drive and keep things running smoothly. And I think that's a good example just because you don't want to take advantage of swap space to deal with a under uh, provisioned server. Right. If you were regularly maxing out your RAM memory, it's time to upgrade your server. Uh, swap space is really just good for those infrequent edge cases, uh, because as noted here, a caveat of swap space is that uh, the information written to your hard disk will be slower than information kept in RAM. So it's not something you want to regularly have to rely upon. All right, so that's the, the what is it and why you might want to use it. Let's jump into the details on how to do it. We're just going to run through a handful of commands. The first is the command to actually create the swap file. Uh, we are going to prefix this command with sudo because we do need to uh, run this as an admin on the server. The size or the length of the swap file, I'm going to go ahead and set it to four gigabytes, but you can adjust this as you see fit. And then this is just going to be the location of where the swap file is going to be created. So let me copy this and going over to my command line window, I'm currently logged into a new budget digital ocean server that I just started up. So I'll use this as my example, run that first command. And then the next command is we need to adjust the permissions on the swap file that we just created. So it isn't readable by anyone except for our root admin user. So we're gonna use change mod 600 on this file. Next, we want to tell the system to set up the swap space. We're gonna use the make swap uh, command to make this happen and reference the swap file we just created. All right, so you can see the output there. You can see the size four gigabytes. Next, we're gonna enable that swap space using the swap on command. And then finally, the last command to set this up is this command where we're gonna add a line of config to our file systems table config file. This is gonna make it so that uh, the swap file will always be used even if we reboot the server. And with that, you should be all set, but if you want to double check your work, one last command you can run is swap on s, where the dash s stands for summary and it'll basically give you a summary of your swap space, and you should see output uh, similar to this.